Let's talk about the Coimbatore battle because that's one that everyone nationally also is focusing on because it's going to be a contest clearly that's going down to the wire right now. Let's get you the data right now on Coimbatore and look at exactly who won in 2019. All right, so you had the left, the CPIM, which is in alliance, of course, with the DMK Congress. Uh, they, in fact, managed to win the seat with a vote share of 46%. And in second place, you had the BJP. Now, this is what the BJP is counting on. You see this 31% vote share that the BJP managed to get in 2019. Now, Anamala is hoping that with his kind of campaign, they can actually build on this number of 31%, which isn't a bad vote share at all, and then ensure that they can actually win in this particular seat. But the DMK and Congress have a sizable presence here. So does the AIA DMK, which is what makes this battle all the more challenging. And let me just show you quickly one more data with regards to Coimbatore. Now, in 2019, while you see that particular vote share, it looks like it was a close battle. But actually, when it came to the number of votes, it was a comfortable victory for the CPIM candidate, the veteran leader, PR Natarajan, who's represented Coimbatore several times in Parliament. He won by a vote margin of over 1,79,000. And it wasn't like the BJP candidate was weak at that point. You had CP Radhakrishnan, who has represented Coimbatore twice before from the BJP. So that's why this battle is going to be particularly interesting because you had the CPI and winning by that massive margin. It's challenging, no doubt, for Anamalai. Most analysts say that this is a contest that will go right down to the wire. And what will it focus on? If you look at the Coimbatore breakdown, essentially, you know, the urban votes, yes, the BJP is managing to reach out to them. The big question mark is over rural votes in Coimbatore. And if Annamalai can actually go ahead and get these rural votes, that really will be the game changer for him. Let's bring in our reporters on the ground. We've got Pramod Madhav. Uh, from Chennai, we've got Shilpa Nair also joining us from another polling booth, Nagarjun Dwarkanath as well as Apurva Jayachandran, all of whom have been tracking all, in fact, the updates that have come in from Ground Zero on polling day. Pramod, if I can begin with you, can you run us through the controversy that's currently playing out in Coimbatore with Anna Malai claiming that, you know, names of BJP Carter is missing? Well, like Akshita, like Anamala is very clearly mentioning that he has gone through several booths and there he's all stating that nearly, uh, like uh, BJP cadres have come forward and told him that nearly a lakh names are either mismatching or the votes are not there at all. And that's the reason he's bringing out this allegation, claiming that he will completely collect the data. Earlier, there were issues like this in Chennai as well, where an issue brought out stating that uh, if the number, were, like the uh, button was pressed, the, the vote was going to one particular uh, party only. But then the uh, election officer gave a clarity stating that that was not the true. There was the VVPAT mission was a bit slow, and even before the mission could show the particular uh, uh, party's uh, slip, the person left and the other person came over, and that caused an issue. But here, Anna Malik claims that the matter is much, much larger, and he states that nearly a lakh names have been lost, and that, I mean, are not well available, and that's the reason he claims that he will take it forward, document it, and make sure that this is addressed, Akshita.